this afternoon trying some food and wine things, but I'm also going to do the Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Squeak. I do this every year, it's so fun. I got my map, let's go and find Remy. It's a ride, it's salt, no? It's a pepper shaker, or salt. It is a seasoning of some sort. Cute! All right, this one was really tricky. We walked all the way around the UK and I finally asked a cast member inside the tea shop if she can give me a clue. And she said he wishes he was 21, but he's not. So he has to wait outside, which was really clever because that signaled to me that it was a pub. So I came to the Rose and Crown and there he is with his bread. That was a tricky one. We walked all the way around and we finally found him. All right, this is the second time we walked all into the pavilion, all the way to the back. We got a hint, the woman told us that he's outside and likes food. We backtracked and here he is on the booth. So for the next one, we are gonna look for um, the outer rim of the pavilion, including the booth. But this one's herbs. Sullivan. So cute. Morocco has Remy with tomatoes. He's so cute. So this is the booth from Morocco. And it's got Remy with tomatoes. We were all wrong. Well, Abel was right. Mom and I were wrong. We guessed uh, ga garlic. garlic, yeah. He's so cute. Remy with zucchini. See those clouds coming in? It's gonna rain, guys. We're gonna try to move a little bit faster. So we still have to head to the festival center and get our cheese boards. in the American Pavilion, right on the food and wine booth. We've got Remy with a carrot. Mom thinks that... My theory is that we kind of just figured out that I think the food that they're holding is what is on the menu. Because we just realized America has, when we said the US, we thought, are there burgers? No. Um, so. Um, he's holding a vegetable, a carrot, and on their menu is carrot cake. So mm. now we're going to go see if we can figure out that theory. Let's test the next one. So the next pavilion is... Italia. Um, no. Italy, right? No. no. Wait. We're going the opposite way that we Yeah, are. it is Italy. Abel's right. So... So they eat a lot of tomatoes. Let's see. But we, we use the tomato, tomato from Morocco, yeah. So they have garlic and onions and oil. It can be anything they love to cook. I'm going to say an oil. We love to eat, so let's go see. Uh, <laughs> Italy booth. Remy's way up there with a bottle of vinegar. I don't know how well you can see him or how well you can hear me because the music is loud and there are a lot of people here today. I definitely think that's the vinegar. All right, we're about halfway through. Right outside of the Carmel shop, a spot of Remy with a pan. So cute. I think my husband left to get a grapefruit beer. Oh no, he didn't. I was just throwing you under the bus saying I think you left to get a beer. He's going to Mexico for beer. Oh, okay. You want to get something from Germany though, Mom? All right, let's keep on moving. In the China Pavilion, we found a Rami with his scarf. Look at his little hand waving at you. He's so cute! All right, onward we go. We're actually almost done with the pavilions. All we have left is Norway and Mexico, but we still have quite a few to find. Um, so a lot of them this year, they've incorporated into the side booths, like the next D, it's the art of pairing, things like that. So we still have six more, right? Yeah. All right, right next to the Kringla Bakery, we find a Remy, and he's got an eggplant. Oh, so cute. Gear Ness is here today also. He's the one that has created Layla, 
the frozen scent. So Abel said he's gonna go in and tell him, or ask him rather, why it's so expensive. Tell why. Gear How you say? Gear. Gear. Nest. Gear Nest. Yes, just like that, with that tone. I would say not. The way you're saying it, don't feel comfortable. That one's a little hard to see because I'm pretty close to it, but it is Remy with a yellow squash. I think that's what that is. And I was for sure thinking it was going to be a pepper. I was wrong. But it is right across from the temple. And you see Remy with the squash. So cute. Next eats on top of Coastal Eats is Remy with a purple onion. So we need to head to Flavors of Fire or from Fire, right? Something like that. I'm yeah. I'm wondering if it's over there, like the chocolate and wine, cheese and wine. I think that one's that way. All right. Because I think these these three foods are the coastal eats, like garden eats. Yeah, these are. So I, don't, I think that that one is the one for this group. All right, so for the art of pairing, which is the chocolate, the cheese, and then the wine, I do see a Remy on top of the cheese studio, but even zoomed in, I can't see what it is. Honey, I am zoomed in. What is it? It's salt and pepper. I had to walk over here to confirm. The menus for these look really good too. There is a Twinings chai tea latte with the chocolate in it at the Did chocolate we try studio. The cheese trio, we hate it. I'm sorry. I think so. All right, salt and pepper down. Where'd Mama go? She has the map. Look how many people are here, guys. It's crazy. Abel, where's my mom? Oh. I do not see her. Oh, geez. Salt and pepper. It is crazy town here. Crazy, crazy busy. We're gonna finish this off and get our cheese boards and go. Flavors from fire. You can see Remy up there with his little green peppers. There's actually yellow and a red pepper up there. All right, we have one left, and that is the taste track. Um, it's gonna be olive oil since that's the only one I have left, but I'm still gonna go spot him. Last but not least, taste track with Remy and an olive oil bottle. And this is directly in front of test track. You can hear the car swooshing by. And this is also the front of the uh, cool wash, so when it's really hot, they have these running with jets of water or mist. It's nice. You have to take a look at the menu. I know, it's all cronuts. I was oh, telling Abel, well, yeah. Heavy. You can smell, it just smells like sugar over here. smell it? And there's a pancake milkshake. That's what I told Abel, I don't yeah. know about that. I mean, I'd like to try it, but I'm kind of sweeted out right now. Yeah, I, I think it'd be salty. good. Yeah, like we should have got one of those big pretzels in, um, mm -hmm. in Germany. Germany. Yep. yep. All right, that's it. We found all of them. Oh, so they were originally plastic cups, but now they're. I actually think I like the koozies better, <laughs> if I'm honest. Which one should I get, hun? Mickey, Minnie, Figment, or Remy? Well, Remy is the icon. I know. But Minnie's cute, really though. Nice. Not Figment, though. No, not Figment. Oh, where's mom? She's oh, okay. Should you Minnie or. Remy. How many mini things do you have? Well, I have a lot. Mini is my favorite. Okay, she's your favorite. I do like the Remy. I too, could get though. the, I mean, Mickey. Well, I can technically buy another one. Yeah, you can buy three more maps it? if you want. They're six ninety nine each. Yeah. I'll, I'll get another one. You can get the mini. And then you're gonna get Mickey. And then I'll, I like the Remy one. Is sweet, you like sweet, Mem though, Remy? I know. You know. And it has all the. I'll do Mickey though, so we can match. Whatever you want, honey. Just look, it has the. I the know. Names of the okay, so I'll get Minnie, you get Mickey? Yes. Awesome. And are you an annual pass holder? I am. My sweet boy buying a second map so I can get a second koozie. <laughs> oh, it's for me. I don't know why you're. Hey! 
<laughs> What's mine is yours. That's what happens when you're married. <laughs> yeah, maybe six. Yeah, that's, that's hard. That's a hard part. Yeah. Oh, these are so cute. Yay, I'm excited.